In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean and lubricate your bait caster. How you making folks and welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, my name's Vinny and this channel is all about hunting, fishing, getting outdoors, trying new things, and making some new memories. So I'm not going to break this thing down completely, get into the gearbox and all of that today. But if you'd like to see a video on that, make sure you leave it in the description below. Let me know. I can show you uh, how to break this thing down and little tips and tricks to remember how to put everything back together. But so this is basically just a uh, basic cleaning and oiling maintenance type of thing going on here. So different people usually have a uh, slightly different ways of how they might go about doing this. I'm just going to show you how I do it, which to be honest with you, I don't do nearly enough. So this particular reel right here is an H2O Express, the Academy's brand, uh, HD Ethos. Uh, so your reel might be a little bit different. So the first step I like to do is take off this side panel right here. Now, this one is pretty easy to just push this little button right here. This door slides open, or it's supposed to slide open. Wait for it, wait for it, there you go. And then it just kind of pops out and then it rotates. The spool would stay in. So once you open that, I like to pull the spool out, like so, and just uh, set this on the side for now. I like to take the spool out to get that out the way just so when I'm cleaning this uh, worm gear right here that I don't get stuff all over my fishing line. So the first thing you want to do, or well, the first thing I like to do, is to clean all that old grease out of the uh, that worm gear right there. If you can see how black and nasty up in those gears can be, you want to clean all of that out. Because you want to get the old grease and oil out of it before you add new grease and oil. Because if not, you're just going to be adding that stuff right on top of the dirt, which can eventually grind down the gears and uh, wear at the metal. Just cause you all kinds of problems later on down the line. Get you some kind of cleaner. Uh, this is real clean. I got this at Academy. I'll leave links in the comments below of the stuff I like to use if I can find the links and remember to do so. So, this. Oh no, it bred. Uh, oh, oh, stuff kind of smells nice. Anyway, we're going to put this little straw in there like that. And this stuff right here has some pressure and it cleans and breaks down the oil and grease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cleaner with this little straw. I'm going to stick it right next to that worm gear and just give it a good spray. Uh, try and knock out some of that gunk and break, start breaking down the grease that's in it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. That stuff makes it nice and shiny. It's the first time I use this stuff. So now that I got that sprayed, I'm just going to crank it a little bit, roll it around through there. So once you got that stuff sprayed and it starts breaking down, you can, if you can get a toothbrush in there, I like to get one in there. Yeah, you just get it up in there, wiggle it around a little bit, and I'm going to rotate that gear to the other side, get that out the way so I can get this. Get all up in there. So after you got a little scrub-a-dub in there and work that cleaner through, I like to take these Q-tips. If you can find the synthetic, uh, they kind of look like little sponge type sticks, uh, which you call them exactly. Uh, those are better because they don't, you don't have to worry about these fibers coming off, but I didn't have any of those, so we're using Q-tips today. But you just get in there, rub it around, wipe off that excess cleaner, and it'll get some of that grease and that dirt out of it. Mm, don't do that. I might have made a boo-boo. I uh, had the Q-tip on there and turned this a little bit. It sucked some of the stuff back in there. So I'm going to have to get back with you in a second. Oh, yeah. What a predicament. Hold that thought. Whew. All right. Sorry about that. That was uh, kind of traumatizing. Which brings me to my next point. If you're going to use these q-tips instead of those uh, other little things I was talking about make sure you don't crank the reel and move that little worm gear uh, while the q-tip is on it because as you've seen the fibers get sucked in there and then tragedy happens so all right so after we get our worm gear all cleared out the next step I like to do is I'm gonna actually take some of this cleaner and spray it on the q-tip and then what you want to do is the shaft right here has a bunch of gunk and grease look at all the stuff that came off on the uh thing. anyway so the shaft right here we're going to clean this off just going to spray some more cleaner on the q-tip and i'm just going to run it up and down here cleaning off the shaft so get that nice and clean just all we're doing is trying to get off the old grease and grime and 
whatever might be stuck on there that we don't want stuck on there. All right, now that's all cleaned up. And also, if you want, you see that little gold gear right in there. You can also just take your Q-tip, run it in around there, just get any debris that might have snuck up in there while you wasn't looking. Oh yeah, that's some nasty stuff up in there. All right, now that we got all of those uh, components clean, now we're going to start lubing it up. So the basic rule of thumb that I was taught is you're going to want to oil bearings and grease gears. Oh yeah, there it goes. All right, so the first one we're going to want to oil up is this little bearing right here on the uh, side cap. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in, but this is the one we're going with today. So different uh, reels are going to be slightly different. So you might not have a bearing here that I have or something, but you get the general idea. If it's a bearing, put some oil in it. If it's a gear, slap some grease on it. So this one right here, we're just going to put a little dabble do you right there on the side. Just going to put it on there, just a little drop. Get it up in there. On our spool, we have another one right there. We're just going to put a little drop on that one. There we go. Make sure it gets good up and in there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. And before we put the spool in and close it all back up, there's this little pin right here that is the what's holding the worm. That's actually the shaft of the worm gear. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it spins when that worm gear spins. So, so we're going to stick a little dab of grease right there. Open up our little tube of grease. It had, well, it's supposed to have a little brush attached, but that thing looks kind of janky. But anyway, I'm going to stick a little bit on there. I know this thing doesn't focus well. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Spin that. Mm, all right. Wait, we just dropped something. What did we just drop? Oh, it was just a Q-tip. We're good. All right, now we can put the spool back in the reel. Like so. Go ahead and close this thing up. Like that. Now, we want to grease up the worm gear. Hold on. There we go. Can't get much of nothing done with that, so... I have a paintbrush. Oh, oh, well. Well, that's interesting. There you go. We're just going to take a little bit with the paintbrush. Hey, this might be the way to go anyway. And we're just going to start dabbing grease on the worm gear. You want to turn it, get it to the other side. I'm just going to clean up any excess from around it. All right, just give it a few cranks so it distributes the grease throughout that whole gear. Oh, yeah, she's running smooth. And then if you want to, you can even drop a little drip right down in that handle right there. Drip. Give her a couple spins. She's purring like a kitten. And that's pretty much all you got to do for a basic maintenance and uh, cleaning. But uh, just some finishing touches if you'd like. As you spray a little bit more of this cleaner right there on a Q-tip. You can run it through that little guide hole right there. Just to clean that up. Beautiful. And then you get you some real magic. This is basically just a line conditioner. And give her a little squirt, squirt. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And that's pretty much it for the cleaning and lubing uh, basic maintenance situation without digging in too far into that gearbox. So hope you guys got something out of this. So that's pretty much it for the basic maintenance situation uh, without digging too deep into those uh, gearboxes. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. I uh, hope I didn't bore you to death or confuse you. That's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. And, and if you want to see any more how-tos, reviews, fishing and hunting vlog, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll never miss an upload. But till next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get outdoors, try new things, and make new memories.